What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and this is going to be the last video in this series but as usual if there is anything you want to see in the future please let me know in the comments and I will try and come back to this if you want to see more. In this video we are going to be adding a menu to our 2D mini golf tutorial. Now listen you might be thinking, oh, I can make a menu. Well, no, listen, we're making a fun menu where you actually play us the ball in the menu and select a level by potting a hole into the level you want to play. Sounds pretty fun, right? So I'm going to show you how we can do that with our current setup. So without further ado, let's let's get into it. Just before we get started, since I have no sponsors for this video, I thought I'd sponsor myself and just let you know, I have a game called Banana Toss. It's on the Google Play Store. So if you have an Android, please feel free. Go search Banana Toss by Muddy wolf games and hunt down my game play it have some fun it's a cool little quirky game where you play as a banana you can upgrade your banana and unlock new style of bananas it's a pretty fun game the whole idea is to get as far as you can and yeah it, it's a fun little arcade game so um come try it out and yeah i'll let's let's crack on with the video okay guys so the first thing we want to do is we're actually going to duplicate level one in our scenes and we'll just go rename this to main menu do it without space so once we've got this doubled up we need to do a few things we want to delete our level manager now that's going to cause us some errors in our um, ball script we also want to delete this hole here or just turn it off for now because we don't need it we then want to go to our canvas and we don't need this canvas specifically so we can delete it. We're going to keep our fence system because we're actually going to be adding in a, um, a new canvas but they're going to be different so that's why I deleted the last one. So what we want to do is in our grid let's let's change this up. Let's make this fun uh, and let's, let's switch it around. So inside our walls here let's just go over here delete and just delete delete all the walls. You know, we will pretty much want to delete everything for now. We'll leave the ground. We'll delete the water as well. There we go. And the ground, we we can leave. Uh, let's set our ball to be zero. So it's in the center of this game. Uh, let's zoom in here so you can see this. And let's uh, let's delete. Let, let's let's go to ground. Let's just delete a couple of the edges. We want to make this quite squared. Um, let's have a look. How does that look in game? Yeah, a little square. That's, that's nice. It doesn't have to be big, this thing. So let's select our walls. Um, and let's just let's just put some walls around the edges here uh, grab the flat wall get the shaded wall again and there we go we've got that then we just want to select water of course rotate this round twice and bring it across there you go now we have a nice looking game now if we go to our game you can see we've got this However, this is this doesn't really have much much going for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a UI canvas. Now on our canvas, we want to well we want to rename this to be called the title canvas. And with this, we want to change this to world space. Uh, we can drag in our camera here to stop the little error there. Although you don't have to, you'll find it automatically itself. And then we want to basically up here we want to change x position to zero it's y position to zero we want to make the size huge right we want to make it 1920 or let's just say a thousand oh a thousand by 500 500 right so if we zoom out you can see the size of this canvas here well sorry here and what we want to do is we want to set this all the same and just sh oh, wrong way shrink it all the way down now to do this we're going to say 0 0.1 let's zoom in and that's, that's still too big so let's say 0 0.2 0 0.01 sorry and there you go we're getting we're getting somewhere you can see this is over here now let's just if we were to go one more small would that be too small it would be so with this what we want to do is let's just move this up so if we move it up just one there you go make the height let's say 200 um and again make that two maybe and there you go that's sitting at the top now in here we just want to add a ui text here and we're just going to call this the actual title and we can name our game if you have a name for your mini golf game go ahead and give it i'm just going to call this 2d mini golf there we go and then i'm going to just stretch this out to fit this canvas here and i'm just going to make the text center bold and i'm actually going to select the outlined um preset here obviously if you have a custom font you might want to change this up and then let's just bring this up to 72 there you go that's looking pretty good um 
Now, if we scroll down here, we can make this a bit cooler, change the thickness to something like 0 0.2 for the dark, the outer edge. Um, and we can actually dilate the text here, say 1.5, maybe even 2. There you go. go I'm going to go 0 0.5, and that makes the text look a much rounder and much thicker. And there you go. So we have this nice little 2D mini golf here at the top. Now, on our canvas, we just want to make this go behind the actual ball. So you see the ball here? Make sure this on default. So it is there. Obviously, you don't set it to minus one because it will go behind the grass. But we just want to make sure this, that when the ball rolls over this, it will be behind the ball. And to just play with that a little, you can actually just turn down the opacity here. Let's say to 128, which is 50%. And there you go, you've got this nice little mini golf title which you can roll over and then that's it. Oh, let me click off the uh, the tile palette. You know what, let me just close the tile palette right now. We don't need that anymore. So now we have this here. We need to go to the ball and we actually need to duplicate the ball script. We're going to duplicate this and rename it to menu ball because we just need to tweak a few things now we could have created a um so we could we could have extended the ball and changed it to fit this but we want to just it's easier just to basically come in here and change it up now we want all of this to be set still we want all of this that's fine max goal speed is fine um it's dragging in hole so what we don't want though is this level over because there is no strokes we can delete that we can also delete the is ready because limiting a person to get to the menu in this isn't really going to be fun. So let's just remove the is ready from there too. Now, if we scroll down, we just want to delete this level man. Anything that has the level manager referenced in it, we just want to remove it so we don't get any errors. Then we just want to delete this enter trigger stay because we will not need it. We're only, we're just going to basically check straight away once we go in there. And in fact, we don't even need to worry about max goal speed for this. So let's actually remove it. And we can delete this. We can also delete the in hole because once it goes straight in the hole, it will just be destroyed straight away. Basically, we're just removing anything we don't need from this here. And that should be good. Now, what we want to change this tag to is, let's say, a level, because um, we'll have a level. So once we go, we'll, have, we'll create a tag called level for the hole. And then once we enter the trigger for this, it will play the same thing here. We'll get the goal effect, destroy, and it'll set to false. OK, so now we've sorted this menu thing here. We can just basically leave this as is, go back to our Unity instance. Let this refresh. Hopefully this error disappears. And then on our ball, we want to remove the ball script in the menu and add in the menu ball. Um, and then don't forget to re-add in all the bits that are missing here. So the goal effect and all of that. Now, what we want to do is we can bring the goal back, but we're going to want to add a new tag, which is going to be called a level. And we just want to go back to the hole and set it to be the level. We can then move the hole, let's say down zero, uh, zero for that, and then minus three, two. There we go, that'll do. And let's move this over minus two as well. And we're going to call this the level one hole. Now we can duplicate this and let's just set this to zero and rename it to level two hole. Uh, bring this up. Uh, you know, tile canvas come up as well. Just shrink this. And then finally, we'll duplicate that and we'll change this to level three hole and move this to two. There you go. So now we have three different holes. However, we are missing our um, text. No one, we're not going to know what levels these are. So let's add some text in here. What I want to do is just go in here, create a new uh, UI canvas and just call this the level text canvas and then again add in a ui text mesh pro which will just be called the level text uh, let's go to our level text canvas same as we did with the other one we're gonna say it's to world space drag in the camera and then we can set this to let's say a thousand um, or not even a thousand let's say 500 by 200 maybe even 100 um, and then set this to be of a scale of 0 0.1 and bring its position back to the center. Uh, let's make that 0 0.01 and then Y1 upwards. We can also make this probably only 300 wide. 
Then our level text, we can stretch it to fit the bounding box. Change this to say level one, make it bold and swap to the outline as well. And then we can center this like that. And we go in our game, you can see here it says level one, although that's just not very legible. So let's make it a bit bigger. There you go. That's much better. Now you can mess around with this and style this however you want, but we're just going to basically, let's just copy this paste it in here drop that in there and paste enough for and drop that in number three now let's rename this and also don't forget to set its position back to zero for each one um, and this one could be level two and finally this one will be level three now if you have loads of levels you might want to rejig this and change how it looks this is just for an example of how you can do this let's also set this to zero um, and change this to level three now in game we have these but when we enter the hole it's not actually going to do anything just yet so to get it working what we want to do is add a new component to this called the level hole enter this level hole double click to open up official studio code and then in here we're going to be needing the unity engine dot state or sorry scene management because we're going to be changing levels here now we want an on trigger enter 2d we want to check if other dot tag is equal to the player or ball which did we name it i believe it might actually be ball or we might not have had a tag at all we don't have a tag so let's create a new one and call it ball and there we go go back to our ball make sure it's tagged as ball and then go in here and just change this to be ball then once it enters we can actually go to this level now here we can just create a public string called level name um, which we can set in the um, inspector for each level hole and then we can say scene manager dot load scene asynchronously and then we can pass in the level name and then this will start the actual level or basically load the next scene so let's go back to unity let the scripts compile select each hole and give it a level name so what we want to do is make sure the level name matches or oh, cancel matches each one of our game objects here we want to say this is level one this needs to actually have the level whole script which will be level two and level three we need to actually design but let's just uh let's just leave that blank and see if this actually works for now so make sure inside of your build settings that to get to that by the way you go to file and uh build settings um make sure your levels are in here and also don't forget to drag the main menu as the first scene so when you start your game well once you build your game it will be the first scene that loads so now once we've got level one in there let's just try try this out and see if we can enter level one so what we can do here is just go boom you can see it exploded and then it moved us to level one now if we score here we still need to hook up our back to menu button which we'll out in a minute but we can go to the next level now i was really hoping for a hole in one with that one but that just did not work so once it gets slow enough we can take our last shot and score another one and obviously the next level isn't actually doesn't exist yet so that's fine now let's create level three and also hook up level one and two so this is working which is nice let's go into level one go to our canvas and just basically go to main menu button and do the same thing we did before by dragging in our level manager going to the state manager and load level and we just want to give the name of our menu which is main menu and we can copy this value drop down our uh, main menu button here again and just hit paste and I'll paste that in for us so we don't have to retype that all out then we need to do the same with level two uh, drop this all down go to main menu button and we can just paste again oh we need to drag in level manager again because this is from a different one load level main menu copy this one and paste it on this one there we go and the nice thing is now anytime we duplicate a level let's say level two it will already have that done so we can call this level three we can add this to our build manager by just dragging it in here and then what we could do is change how level three works so let's just go let's get our window 2d tile palette drag it to the left here and let's just change this up so i'm going to select walls get the delete and just remove these walls and instead we're going to have something just a bit weird let's make 
is a pretty boring level design, but you can make yours really fun and really cool. There you go. It's, it's just random. You can do whatever you want with it. Obviously, you want to style these up to be really cool levels and do whatever you want with it, really. And there you go. So that is now all hooked up. So we should be able to go back to our main menu, hit play, and everything should work as intended. So let's go to level one. There you go. You can see we can take a shot at level one. There you go. We can go back to the menu. And let's say this time we want to go to level three. You can see we are getting level two for some reason. So let's have a look why that is. That is because I changed level two's design and left, left level three's as it is. So this is actually level three now and level two is this one. That's my bad. I changed it wrong. So that means it still works. It's just I made it wrong, which is good to know. And there's one last thing we need to do because level three is the last level. So we need to actually make it so the last level, you don't get a next level script because next level will take us to actually level two because that's what we set up in the previous video. So what we want to do is go back. Let's go to level two first because we need to change the uh, next level button to take us to level three. And then we need to go to level three and we're just going to, for now, disable the next level button because we just don't want to go to the next level at all there isn't one so the only thing you can go do is go back to main menu so let's go back to um well, sorry, let's go back to the main menu. And here we go. This is the final game we have already got set so let's go to level one let's score our first goal go to next level let's see if we can get a hole in one in this one not sure how because i've made it pretty near impossible but Ah, not enough. In fact, I've made it so I can't even get a hole in two. Unless I get a nice rebound. <gasps> I missed. Boom, there you go. That's our... And then we go to the next level. And then finally, this level should... Hey, we got a hole in one. And there you go. There's no next thing. We could just go back to menu. And then we can go back to, like, for example, level two. And try and get that hole in one again. I did the exact same thing as last time almost. It's okay. There you go. So that is the mini golf game series, guys. I'm going to end this series now. I know a lot of you want more 2D tower defense, so please just let me know. So that is going to be everything in this tutorial. If you want to see more on the mini golf, let me know down below. I don't know if I'll do it or not. It just depends what sort of ideas you guys come up with for the mini golf, and then we can implement it at a later date. But that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you you in the next series let me know what sort of series you want to see next whether that be another 2d tutorial series or if you maybe want to see 3d or vr let me know what you want to see down below and the specifics if you want to see a, a top down one again i've already done loads of those don't ask me for that but you know tell me what you want to see down below and i will try and get that tutorial series created for you thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one peace out